Psalms chapter 30, a psalm and song at the dedication of the house and of David. What David's going to do is just going to praise the Lord and thank the Lord. And it's recorded. I know God records ours. I wonder how many times he can record of us our thanksgiving to him. Compared to thanksgiving to other things. I will extol thee, praise, magnify, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up. David didn't lift himself up. The Lord lifted him up. That's not pride. Pride is when you put yourself up on a pedestal. It has not made my foes, his enemies, to rejoice over me. And to rejoice over David is, you know, they got the victory. They won. O oh Lord my God, there's the hymn. I cried unto thee. That's not boo-hoo cry. That's speaking. Talking. Thou hast healed me. So God has healing power. Do you believe God can heal? Oh yeah, I do. He... O oh Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. David came within times of his life. He should have been dead. There was a time when he fought one of the giants and they thought he was dead. David said, was it for the Lord? I'd be dead. Thou hast kept me alive. So life is of God. So the paramedics came and did the paddles and I'm alive. No, they did. But that's not the praise. The doctor gave me this medicine and I'm doing so much. I ain't the praise. It's God. The electricity that gave you the power, the electricity came from God. The medicine that they gave to, that they gave you came from the God. Everything came from God. And then God healed. You all thank God for healing. That I should not go down to the pit. Death. Hole in the ground. Sing unto the Lord. Oh, ye so saints. Alright, so. The Catholic Church says. That a saint is one that has died. And. The Pope and his little committee there. Has, has examined the dead person's life. And to see. If they inquire sainthood by anything miraculous that's done in their life. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints. How does a dead person sing? You don't read and study your Bible. Oh, our Catholic Church, this person died and we made him a saint. All right, let's hear him sing. Oh, he's dead. Then... According to the Bible, saints are people who are alive. God says uh, that he, he has joy when one of the saints die, but he's living. And give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Remember what God's done for you, then remember what God's done for you. Thank the Lord. Because you may not have thanked the Lord when it happened. How many times have I even thought my own life? You know, I pray, Lord God, do this. Lord God, do this. Lord God, do this. And he does it. How many times has the Lord done something after answering our prayers? Did we thank him for it? And then when the Lord reminds you of that event, count your many blessings, name them one by one, thank the Lord. You may not have thanked him. And if you already thanked him, he deserves more thanks. For his anger endureth but a moment. Thank God for that. And yet John says, He that has not the Son shall not see life. Interesting. But the wrath of God abided upon him. And the wrath of God for a man that disobeys God totally. The anger and wrath of God goes on for all eternity. 
But if you're David or someone like me who is a child of God and God gets angry with us, it's just a moment. What's a moment of 6,000 years? <laughs> Not long. In his favor is life. There's that life again. He that has the Son has everlasting life. Weeping may endure for a night. How long is night in a lifetime of 70 years? Not long. For the Jewish time, it's 12 hours, 6, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. But how long is that? Not long. But joy cometh in the morning. That's the second advent of the Lord Jesus Christ. The anger endureth for a moment. And weeping in the night, that's a tribulation passage. And then when Jesus Christ comes, that, that the trouble and that... The problems and the, the the Antichrist reigning against the Israel people when Jesus Christ comes in the morning, the day star. Oh boy, be great joy, satisfaction of Israel. In my prosperity, in what and I've gotten good, I, I, I've gone somewhere. I said I shall never be moved if that prosperity has come from God and by God. Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Figure up. David didn't own a mountain. But David's saying, listen, I am strong as a mountain. Thou didst hide thy face when I was when I was troubled. There goes David again. All right, everything's great. Oh, Lord God, you didn't answer my prayer. That's tribulation uh, trouble. And in times and troubles in our life, we do look at God like, where are you, God? Why ain't you answering? I cried unto thee. We already read that verse too. And unto the Lord, I made supplication, desire prayer. What profit is there in my blood which goes down to the pit? Death. Mary, shall the dust, the body that decayed, praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth for an Old Testament saint? No, they went to Abraham's bosom. They didn't have to be absent from the body and present with the Lord. David says, listen, if I die now, I ain't going to praise you no more. Until the resurrection and the day of judgment, I'm found to be at, at right with you. Hear, O Lord, come on, God, listen, and have mercy on me. Treat me treat me better than what I deserve, Lord. Lord, be thou my helper. I need help. So the hymn goes into the wonderful great joy of God. Then, you know, problems happen. Thou hast turned for me my morning into dancing. Life is valleys and life is mountains. Mouth, life is mountains. Life is valleys. Thou hast put off my sackcloth. Time of mourning. Time of distress. And girded me with gladness. Happiness. To the end. That my glory may sing praise to thee. Glorify God. And not be silent. God I'm just praising you. And that's what he's doing now. O oh Lord my God. Is that him. I will give thanks unto thee forever. And that's what we're going to do in glory. Forever thanking God. 